My Digital Landscape. Hello, hello. This is William with My Digital Landscape, and this is Squarespace Talk. Today we're going to talk about uh, gallery options within Squarespace um, and the different ways you can set up galleries on pages or in an actual gallery to get different viewing options. Plus, uh, the options that Squarespace has now changed to make more readily available and easier to use on Squarespace 7 as far as gallery options. So uh, let's get going. Right here I have a test gallery just built um, and the thing I wanted to point out is that right now this gallery is an actual gallery, meaning when we added the page we went in and we added it as a gallery. Um, and we're going to have a few different options of how we can view that gallery when we're looking at it in our design style tools. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the gallery selected on the page and pulled up here um, in our customer facing editor. And then we have, um, and this is going to be different template to template, but you're going to have a few different styles here that you can choose from. So gallery styles, I can choose the width. I can choose the um, the uh, metadata width, and that's really the only options that I have on this template. On other templates, we might be able to switch between slideshow and grid. We might be able to do a whole different array of things in the style tools. But a lot of the time, the gallery isn't doing exactly what you want it to do. So you are viewing it as a gallery, and we have you know a gallery up in our main navigation. And let's say that's not doing what you want it to do. We have another great option of actually adding a gallery to a page to change the way that that gallery is going to lay out on the page. So, for example, um, let's go in and let's just go to an unused page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gallery and I'm going to actually have it display on a standard page. So if you don't have a standard page, maybe we should do this for, for an example. Let's go in and let's make our gallery page. And in our gallery page, when we are viewing this page, let's go ahead and hit edit here. And on the actual page now, we can go in and this is brand new, so there's different types of gallery styles, slideshow, carousel, grid, stacked. And summaries as well can work for galleries. So let's say we're trying to create a grid. And we can either upload images right here, and then we'll have a gallery living on a page, or we can use our gallery that we've already created. So here's our test gallery. And we're going to have the ability to just utilize that, click over on design, and we can say how many we want across in the grid. We can change the padding in between our images. Um, and we can tell it if we want it to light box when they're clicked on, which is great for this kind of grid option. And let's go ahead and save that. So now we have this other great view option here um, of a gridded gallery on a page that when we click we're going to be able to do a really nice, nice uh, light box effect. Let me refresh this really quick so I can show you. Um, so these will light box and be able to move through. Obviously these are just solid colors that I'm using as an example here. Um, or we could go back in and let's go in one more time here to um, edit our page content. And in this gallery block, again, we can change the design again. Maybe we want a carousel, stack, slideshow. So this is going to give us a lot more options of how we can lay out the gallery on a page. Um, so I'm going to just flip that back to grid. And in a quick review, the thought that I would encourage you to have when 
trying to view galleries on your Squarespace 7 website is do you want to actually be viewing it as a gallery or do you want to create a gallery on a page and then you'll have a little bit more editing tools and the answer is really going to come down to what template you're using and if you're happy how it's laying out. Please let us know if you have any questions. Um, write in and request the next video. Once again, this is William with My Digital Landscape. Thank you so much. Cheers. My Digital Landscape.